Uh, Carol Ann Maloney joins me now. She's from BD uh, Medical and she is a clinical education specialist. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> First of all, what's BD Medical? What do you guys do? We are actually a leading medical technology company. Mm. We manufacture insulin syringe, syringes and pen needles for people living with diabetes. Things like this over here? These things? Yes. We do not make the pens. Actually, we make these needles right the here. The needles that here. go with the pen. Absolutely. A very important part of the pen. That is a very important part. <laughs> is it true, Carol Ann, that you guys have done some research? Is this a stress ball? Yes. Boy, do I need this. <laughs> um, is it true, you guys have done a lot of research, about half the people who self-inject for diabetes or whatever, mm -hmm. but diabetes mostly, yes. they're not doing it properly? That's right. What are they doing wrong? Well, it's like everything we learn, we, we find shortcuts and we find easier ways of doing things. And in particular, one thing that has changed over the years is that we know a lot more about the skin. And okay. skin, on average, if you look at this little device, right. is two millimeters thick in That's all people. That's the skin there. Can I hold that up for yes. the camera? That's the skin there. So we need to inject past the skin to get into this clear part, which is the, the, the dermis, fatty layer. The dermis. This is the dermis. This is the fatty layer. And then this is the muscle. Gotcha. So the idea is that we inject into the fatty layer, avoid the muscle to get the best absorption of insulin. Right, right. So needles have evolved over the years. And sure have. 20 years ago, we were using a 12 millimeter pen needle. Like and, that, and that was the syringe days, right? Yes, that was absolutely. the actual. You draw the uh, the liquid out into the needle, and, and we still make syringes, and they're now as short as six millimeters long. But pen needles have evolved all the way down to four millimeters long. Right, right. And like the BD Nano that you see here, they're a lot easier to inject. Right. They're more comfortable. Yeah. So, so most people are injecting the wrong way in that they're using the same spot over and over Absolutely. too much. Absolutely. They're that not Because you're supposed to rotate, right? Yes. Yeah. Proper rotation means rotating in different areas of your body yeah. and not using the same area twice. So but you would people have favorite spots because it's easier. What happens? So with favorite spots, if you use the same spot over and over and over, you can get lumps under the skin. Like this. Called lipohypertrophy that or right there? lipos for short. That's so this not attractive. You, so this one you can see. Uh, you're right. In a that's, bikini, it's not so hot. That's not the kind of lump you want on your skin. Let me tell you. <laughs> But if you feel under the skin, there's smaller lumps that occur from repeated use of Is injection right? sites. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How do uh, how do you educate people in 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 proper injection uh, techniques and so on? Well, first of all, we say rotate your injection sites. Do not use the same spot over and over and over. Right. Use a shorter pen needle like the BD four millimeter Nano. Right. And use a new needle every single time. Right. So not to reuse. Why do people use the same needle? Because it's cheaper. It's cheaper. We get busy, we're lazy, there's different reasons. Right. But repeated reuse can actually hurt um, and can also lead to this condition known as lipohypertrophy. Well, you know what, it's important to discuss this and let people know uh, these uh, this information because there are a lot of people who self-inject in this Absolutely. country, right? And Absolutely. you guys work with a lot of them, no yes. doubt, and they use uh, the products and techniques that you have come up with. Where do we find more information about this sort of thing? Uh, we actually have an online community called Diabetes Innovations yeah. and it's uh, on Facebook and people can go there. We teach about injection technique, healthy eating, active living and new technologies and innovations coming. You know it's nice to uh, to, to meet somebody from the companies that make these sort of things because yeah. you hardly ever get a chance and to do And you didn't that. know who BD was when I did we not. first spoke. How would I know? <laughs> I'm not a self-injector. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's good information to have and uh, people should check with uh, their doctors and so on to find out more about uh, how to do this properly and what they should be doing. Right? Yes. Would you like to try one? Sure. Sure? <laughs> yeah. Real quick, real, real quick. Real quick. Okay. Yeah. Let's We're out of time, but. Okay, we can. So, what pretend. are you injecting me with? Is the I'm question. injecting you with a. Saline solution? Yes. Is, that, is this safe for me? Right? It's not, not so bad. Not in your hand. Not in your hand. Oh, uh, where? Where? Your abdomen, your arm. I just want you to see the My needle. arm? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah. Wow. Pretty tiny. Super cool. And it doesn't yeah. hurt, by the doesn't way. doesn't hurt. Caroline, thanks for coming by. Thanks Good for to meet me. you, and thanks for the stress ball. I'm totally de stressed, right? <laughs>